One of the tricky things about NHCs, the symptoms that you get and it, uh, are not do not obviously seem to point to kidneys as their source. Um, for example, the only symptom that I had for uh, many years um, was high blood pressure, which is commonly caused by kidney disease, but also by so many other things. Um, the only reason they, that's actually how they found out about my kidney disease was that I had uh, high blood pressure and, you know, medication helped to a limited degree and they tried to find, you know, whatever would cause it and never did find anything that caused it um, until they did an ultrasound on the kidneys and voila, polycystic kidney disease. Um, but, you know, if I had, if I either hadn't had the blood pressure checked or if I had, um, had it better corrected by the first medicine tried, they might not have looked for anything, any more buzz for it. They might have just said, okay, we took care of the blood pressure and then the kidneys would keep, um, deteriorating, which is what they did anyway. But I had some idea about it and could and things that set me that really told me it was a problem uh this time around were um they listed um uh, saw a video by a doctor who listed four symptoms not saying he didn't say these were the only symptoms or even the top symptoms he just listed four example symptoms of kidney disease uh kidney failure and they were fatigue Shortness of breath, um, I believe sort of general aches and pains was one, and um, or headache it sometimes comes up in these lists, and uh, loss of appetite. And so three things right away were all things I was dealing with that I wouldn't have thought were kidney disease things. I mean, kidney disease is always sort of in the back of the mind, but in a year when I'm in the year I turn 50 and COVID is still running rampant. Um, I'm probably not going to go to kidney disease and ex as an explanation for things that don't seem to have anything to do with the kidneys. If you don't really know what the kidneys do, I mean, they act as filters, they produce urine. Those are sort of basic things, but, um, what they actually do, do for you is so much brighter because um, they, you know, filter out toxins and things from the blood um, and your blood goes everywhere in your body and it's required for everywhere in your body. So um, in theory, they can affect just about anything. Um, those ones that I listed. Another thing that I recently uh, discovered was that um, tinnitus, which I also deal with, is uh, can be a kidney failure um, symptom. Um, that's that's something that I've had for years, but I'm really not sure how many years. Like, I'd say five years ago I had tinnitus a lot. 10? I'm not so sure. Uh, another thing that I've recently learned about, learned uh, firsthand, is literally as a um, symptom of kidney failure, is um, that um, one can have various skin problems, including um, um, increased spots of pigmentation in uh, different places um the uh general um dryness and thinness and easy um skin that's easy to scrape and um cut and bruise um you may have seen wearing these arm protector things right now which are doing a variety of things um uh, they give some degree against um of protection against um, the dog clawing and biting, which I still have it that we're trying to deal with. Um, but even more than that, um, 
they keep me from picking at the bad skin that um, happens largely because of the dog. But like for, I mean, you can see, you know, a bunch of different mostly healed scabs right now, which have mostly been healed because I've been wearing these. I am going to try to insert a picture here into the video to show you what it looked like at its worst. I also had some, um, what seemed like pretty minor scraping. I was reaching sort of under the couch to try to get something and the, the wooden frame of the couch is very close to the floor so I didn't have that much room for my hand to go in and the back of my hand rubbed against the wood and it felt like it was scraping but that's not unusual. But then it, it was like, looked like like road rash on my hand from um, you know falling off a skateboard or something like that. It was just red and the skin was not not bleeding but you could tell that the blood was close really close to the surface and um i wasn't sure why it was that bad um and um then i was looking at stuff online and i saw pictures of uh skin problems that were um associated with kidney failure and it just looked just ex it looked exactly like my hand except not nearly as bad as my hand like um and uh, and just for example like i've got all these like scratches and things like that on my arm um the dog actually bites and scratches my wife uh, um, a lot more than me for whatever reason and my wife's arm does not look like that you know um and um the bummer um also, um, I suspect the, one of the other things is, you know, that can happen is hyperpigmentation in parts of the skin and, um, you just end up having darker spots in the skin in places that you wouldn't have, uh, normally had them before. I will not show you where the ones are that, um, made me concerned, um, um, the dermatologist didn't say that's what they were, but they but it looks a lot like skin pigmentation that can come with kidney failure. Um, the good thing about that, getting checked out for that though, is that while those spots were not anything to worry about, I did have my first skin cancer in my back, which got cut out and should be fine now. And apparently the basal cell carcinoma is about the least scary thing that gets the name cancer. But um, yeah, at that point I sort of felt like I... Uh, Got a free small disease for completing a punch card. And on that, I will...